I love being stuck in traffic, said no one ever. Thank goodness we have GPS satellites to help us get out of this jam. But it takes a lot of work to put a satellite into space. The launch is just one step in a long list to make this happen. It all starts in a faraway land called Denver, Colorado, where these brand spanking new GPS-3 satellites are built at a Lockheed Martin manufacturing facility. It takes a lot of parts to make these new satellites. I mean, a lot of parts. Our engineers rely on hundreds of suppliers from all over the U.S. to provide the components needed to build GPS-3. To make sure it works correctly in space, our engineers put it through rigorous tests, like the thermal vacuum test. It exposes the GPS satellite to extreme temperatures that we'll experience in space. It's blasted with sound waves and vibrations to make sure it can handle the turbulent conditions from the launch. We also run it through electromagnetic interference tests to make sure there is no signal interference from its components. After it gets an A plus on all of its tests, GPS-3 is finally ready for more tests, but this time at the launch site. The GPS-3 satellite is carefully transported to Florida, where the final preparations are made for its trip to space. After it arrives, it goes through pre-launch processing, filled with satellite fuel, and finally put in a capsule to protect it during launch. This capsule is then mounted on top of the rocket. Three, two, one, lift off. The GPS-3 satellite will go on a wild ride before it finally separates from the rocket. Did you know you can drive a GPS satellite? Well, apparently you can. Our engineers who pass the test for the School of Satellite Drivers will steer the satellite into the exact orbit in space to begin its mission. From there, it will go through another round of on-orbit tests to make sure the GPS-3 satellite is in tip-top shape. We are now ready to hand over the controls to the U.S. Air Force. They are really good at flying GPS satellites. And thanks to the U.S. Air Force, more than 4 billion people around the world have access to GPS. There you go. Now you know what it takes to put a satellite up into space. Let's use this GPS-3 and find our way around this traffic jam.